Good morning and warm welcome to all the viewers. Uh, it's a Metro Babson's Distance Teaching Learning Television Program. And it's me, teacher representative of uh, uh, Metro Babson's Bharatpur, uh, me, the Manish Gimire. Uh, and I'm going to teach you a chemical reaction topic from class 10 subject science. So let me begin without delaying. Uh, chemistry, chemical reaction. What are the major objectives here? And what I mean to say, what are the objectives that we meet in this topic? I must say, the very first objective, the definition of chemical reaction. And types of chemical reaction. Means, what are the different types of chemical reaction that includes uh, decomposition chemical reaction, combination chemical reaction, displacement chemical reaction, acid base reaction and some other types of chemical reactions will be discussed here today. Likewise, uh, writing chemical changes in the form of chemical equations would be our next aspect where we would put light there. Similarly, we will be discussing on rate of chemical reaction. Uh, factors affecting the chemical change and different types of catalyst along with its characteristics and all the details. So let me first begin. Have a look on the screen please. Uh, whatever I said you about the screening of different objectives there is plotted. So let me go to chemical reaction. Chemical reaction means chemical change. Let me say you chemical change means anything that happens which bring about permanent change. Permanent change means what? Whenever some substances get some changes in their energy, their physical form and mass, the result is chemical reaction or chemical change. See, you might have experienced a situation with iron rod, let me say. Whenever iron rod is exposed to the moist environment, what happens after some days, I mean to say few days, one or two more days, obviously it gets rusted. It gets rusted. What is that? Means the iron on getting moisture and oxygen turns to reddish brown color. That reddish brown substance, that matter is we call what rust. Then the screen you can see, see. In the picture there is shown one nut. The left side of nut is exposed to the moist environment and the result is of course it is reddish brown in color. Whereas its right side looks quite different. It is exactly the form which we get when it is just manufactured. The left part there is formation of iron oxide, that is what we call rust. The next is not affected by any air because it is protected. So this is chemical change. Anyway, the various types of changes that occurs in our surrounding may not be chemical change. Some of them are physical change, but this type of change which brings permanent change in which mass and energy are changed each chemical change. An example of course you can see on the screen. Uh, likewise, uh, what happens when hydrogen and oxygen are reacted together? You must know the result, right? This is the most common chemical reactions that you see from your early childhood. I mean to say Hydrogen is a gaseous matter, oxygen is also a gaseous matter at a normal room temperature, whereas water may be also in gaseous form, I mean to say vapor form of water is steam which is the gaseous form of water. But at room temperature water exists in its liquid state. So this is a kind of chemical change in which gaseous matter gets converted into liquid matter. Look, these gaseous matters have been changed into liquid matter. 
This is permanent change, and this is chemical change. We say this is the chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen, which result water. So this is all about chemical change. Likewise, whenever organic matters are decomposed, I mean to say whenever kitchen wastes or garbages are found being decomposed well, some scented smell is absorbed. That is a kind of gas that is combustible gas we call methane. This is also a type of chemical change. And there has also occurred some type of chemical reactions that has given out the methane gas. Anyway, these are the details on chemical change. Uh, let me move to next screen. There you can see chemical reaction is exact definition. The combination, decomposition or displacement, let me write these three points, combination, decomposition, and displacement. This three, look. Combination means what? Combination means whenever two or more reactants combine together to give out a single product, we call combination chemical reaction. This is exactly the type of combination chemical reaction. In this chemical reaction, hydrogen and oxygen gases are combined, the product is water molecule. Similarly, what kind of chemical change is decomposition? Let me show you here. Whenever calcium carbonate is one of the compound, whenever calcium carbonate is heated at about 250 degrees Celsius or more than that, it breaks down into two different product, CO plus CO2. See, this is gas, this compound calcium oxide. This is decomposition chemical reaction in which one of the compound or reactant molecule breaks down into two different product molecules. The first one calcium oxide and the second one carbon dioxide. Anyway, chemical change include decomposition type of reaction also. Similarly, see the third one displacement chemical reaction. See, displacement means what? Whenever zinc metal is reacted with sulfuric acid, it forms zinc sulfate along with hydrogen gas. See this type of chemical change. In this change, hydrogen is displaced. Zinc reacts with sulfate radical to form zinc sulfate. This is a kind of displacement reaction. So, any kind of chemical change that include combination type of change, decomposition and displacement is called chemical reaction. So, I guess you come to know everything about what is chemical reaction. Chemical reaction means a kind of chemical change which occurs due to the displacement or decomposition or combination of reactant molecules. So you might be wondering what is reactant and products that I am continuously uh, been using since the beginning of chemical reaction. So I must uh, put a light on it. Reactant means chemical substances, elements or molecules or whatever which takes part in chemical reaction and yield product molecules are called reactants. See here, hydrogen and oxygen takes part in chemical reaction. They react together and produce water molecule. Here, these two substances, these two gaseous matter are reactants. Likewise here, see, calcium carbonate. You can see this calcium carbonate, CaCO3. This is reactant molecule because it decomposes to produce calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. That is why it is called reactant molecule. Simply, reactant molecules are those which take part in chemical reaction. 
and reactant molecules are usually written on the left side of arrow. If this is the arrow, then on the left side of arrow, reactant molecules are written. So, what is product? What are product molecules? What do you mean by product? See, product means something that is written on right of arrow. Something that is written on right of arrow, something that is written on right of arrow means those chemical substances or molecules or elements which are formed as a result of shortened chemical chains on the reactant molecules. You can even have a look on the screen also, there is also written the same. Uh, the chemical substances, elements are compound which are formed after chemical reactions are called products. Here, calcium oxide along with carbon dioxide is product. Here, zinc sulfate along with hydrogen gas is product. Here, water is product. So, this is about, this is all about reactants and product. So, there is also shown the same chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen gas that has resulted product molecule that is water of course and water at room temperature I said generally exists in liquid state. So, move to next screen there. Word equation and chemical equation. Word equation of course. You may read the screen there. There is written a detail about word equation and chemical equation. Simply, very simple to understand, if a chemical reaction is expressed in, uh, by writing their total name in, in word, I mean to say, see the same chemical reaction, so that it becomes quite easy for you to understand, uh, see. Actually, this is not the word equation. See, this is not the word equation because reactant molecules and product molecules are not written in their word form. It is their symbols. This is one molecule of hydrogen. It's not the name written there. So, what would be the word equation for this? I must write hydrogen plus oxygen. This is water. This is called word equation. See, we have written the name of this symbol, hydrogen, oxygen and water. This is called word equation. Similarly, carbon plus oxygen it forms carbon dioxide. If oxygen provided is sufficient, it forms carbon dioxide. Here see, this is word equation. So, it is quite easy, but writing in word equation is not always convenient and not even scientific also. It has so many demerits. It takes enough time it occupies space also. We cannot even have information on how many hydrogens and oxygens are involved. What is the molecular formula of hydrogen? What is the molecular formula of oxygen? And what is chemical uh, name of water? These are the information that word equation lack. So, we do not write chemical equation generally in word form. So, move to chemical equation. chemical equation. See this. If this is word equation, then carbon means C plus oxygen means O2, the result is CO2. This is called chemical equation. C means carbon's symbol 
O2 means oxygen molecular symbol and carbon dioxide means molecular symbol of carbon dioxide gas. This is called chemical equation. So, what is chemical equation? Chemical equation is chemical reaction which is expressed by writing the symbol of symbol and molecular formula, symbol and molecular formula of reactants and product. I said the elements or molecules written on left is reactant. Here, reactants symbol or molecular formula is written. So, it is chemical equation because their chemical symbol or chemical name is written. So, it is chemical equation and writing in chemical equation is convenient, scientific and more easier. It takes less space, less time that is why it is better to write in chemical equation. So, let me give one or two more examples of chemical equation like uh, zinc plus sulfuric acid, say it is dilute dilute sulfuric acid means uh, concentrated one is diluted with water means it is less concentrated it is less denser and in terms of corrosive it is less corrosive so it forms the zinc sulfate plus hydrogen gas let me just uh, draw your attention actually while writing chemical equation we must always keep in mind one thing and that is very very important to reduce the error while writing the chemical equation you must always keep in your mind one thing that is the first letter of each element must always be capital i may do mistake like this look this is wrong way of writing molecular formula actually here H is capital is fine, but S is small that is wrong. S means what sulfur no? S means sulfur and sulfur must be written in capital form. The S must be capital, so it is wrong. O is also written here small, that is also wrong of course. O must be written capital, so correct form would be like this. Because it is oxygen, its symbol must be capital. Because it is sulfur, it is also should be capital. So, this is the correct way of writing molecular formula and while writing chemical equation also you must keep all these things in mind. See, uh, here I have robbed first because I came to know that I wrote wrong. That is why I rewrote it. This is the correct form. Anyway, next chemical reactions uh, for your more information. See, this is iron plus oxygen when the environment is moist or when there is moisture present in the environment, it forms rust. See, this is also chemical equation in which chemical reaction is expressed by using the symbols and molecular formula of elements which are used here as reactants. Look, F is capital because it is symbol of iron. O is capital, here O is also capital, S is also capital and I have written it in much correct form. So, keep all these things in mind. So, uh, have a look on the screen, there are given some more chemical uh, equation uh, for your comfortable zone. There is reaction, first reaction between hydrogen and oxygen. Second reaction there is between magnesium and oxygen, see magnesium and oxygen when burnt it forms magnesium oxide because magnesium symbol is used oxygen molecular formula is used and magnesium oxides molecular formula is used it is chemical equation likewise the down one there in the screen you can see the interaction between sodium chloride and water There is written wrong that uh, you should just uh, skip it. There is a wrongly written that must be corrected. Actually, what happened here? Look, I found there is some mistake in the screen. NaOH plus SCL there should be. But the right part and the left part both are written wrong. Just skip it. 
see the correct form is this whenever sodium hydroxide it is called base and hydrochloric acid it is one of the well known acid in lab are reacted together it forms sodium chloride and water molecule this is the most correct form of chemical reaction this is also way of writing in terms of their symbol and equation and symbol and molecular formula and hence it is called chemical equation and we move to next please balanced chemical equation because we have come to the end of today's episode must possibly this would be the last topic for today uh, tomorrow on my return i'll be continuing some other portions so have a look on the screen there is written balanced chemical equation or balanced chemical reaction what is balanced chemical reaction the title itself is quite clear about what we are going to study balanced what is balanced balanced means when the number of atoms of each element in the reactant side is made equal with the number of atoms in the product side the chemical equation is called balanced chemical equation balanced chemical equation let me just take an example that would be quite easy for you when there is chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen molecule it forms water you came to know about this very much today see here number of hydrogen atoms in this molecule is two here is also two on the product side so number of hydrogen is rightly balanced but what do we think of oxygen see here are two atoms of oxygen but here is only one atom so this is not balanced chemical equation so how do we balance it how do we convert it into balanced chemical equation see if you add two here what happens on adding two here the number of hydrogen atom changes to four two into two four all together there would be four hydrogen atoms but here are just two again the number of hydrogen atom is stopped so we must put two here now hydrogen number is balanced and oxygen's number is also balanced now this has become balanced chemical equation here number of hydrogen four atoms of hydrogen are here in the reactant side here also two into two four hydrogen atoms oxygen atoms here are two oxygen atoms here are also two into oxygen means two oxygen atoms see the number of atoms of each element the oxygen and hydrogen in both the sides of arrow the reactant side and the product side are exactly balanced that is why it is called balanced chemical equation one more example see in this chemical reaction NaOH plus HCl NaCl plus H2O see this chemical reaction do you think all the elements and their number are balanced on sides let us see here one atom of sodium is present on left of arrow on right of arrow there is also only one sodium atom it is balanced fine number of oxygen on the left side o here on the right side o single single oxygen atoms it is also balanced see hydrogen here one hydrogen here one hydrogen together two hydrogens are there in right hand side on product side also there is two there two hydrogens are present fine hydrogen is also balanced and come to chlorine finally
chlorine 1, chlorine 1 means it is automatically balanced. We don't need to add any type of coefficient to balance it further. So, it is balanced chemical equation. So, what is balanced chemical equation? Balanced chemical equation means such type of chemical such type of chemical equation which is written by balancing the number of atoms of each element on the reactant sides and product side. And balanced chemical equation obeys law of conservation of mass. Where is the chemical equation which is not balanced? Does not obey law of conservation of mass. And such type of chemical reaction which is not balanced are called unbalanced chemical equation. Unbalanced chemical equation or skeleton chemical equation. Skeleton chemical equation. Two names see. Just last example. When there is a chemical reaction between, uh, take one of the base, say KOH, potassium hydroxide, and one of the acids, say HNO3, it is nitric acid. For kind information, this is also one of the mostly used laboratory acid, mineral acid, we call nitric acid, and this is potassium hydroxide, one of the strong base. In this chemical reaction, the result is KNO3, potassium nitrate and water. See, if the number of atoms of each element on either sides are equal, then it is balanced, otherwise it is escalated. See, number of potassium on left, 1, number of potassium on right, 1, balanced, number of oxygen on left, 1, and here 3 means total 4, here 3 and 1 total 4, it is also balanced. Hydrogen here 1, 1 together 2 and on the right side also 2, it is also balanced. Nitrogen also here 1, there on the right side also 1, nitrogen is also balanced. It is also automatically balanced chemical equation. So anyway, this is all about balanced chemical equation. Then the screen you can see uh, some examples of balanced chemical equation. Uh, then the first there is written H2 plus O2 H2O. Uh, that is unbalanced because number of oxygen is not equalized there. Then the next uh, 2 H2 plus O2 to H2O that is well balanced. The same chemical action which was un unbalanced on the first is then balanced and written. For this we need to add coefficient in front of hydrogen molecule and water molecule and this balances the chemical equation. Uh, the last is there when there when there is decomposition going on in potassium chlorate you can see the result is potassium chloride and oxygen molecule. There the number of potassium chlorine and oxygen atoms on either side are perfectly balanced so it is balanced chemical equation. Anyway, thank you for all your presence, patience uh, till the uh, period and episodes. Uh, uh, I wish a very good and wonderful day. Uh, have a good day. Bye-bye everyone and thank you.